were in the gym of the medieval old town of Seville. And it's one of my favorites, not far from the season. And in any walk in Seville, you can find many a hidden secret. In this little Augustinian convent is one. We can't visit it, but we can come into the entryway where we see this fresco. I confess I don't know the name of the painter. I'm guessing the time period is probably 16th century, maybe 17th. And we have an image here of Christ crucified. And at the foot of the cross, embracing the cross, uh, washing his feet with her hair is the Magdalene. And her garment probably would have been a bright red. Red and blue are the colors of nobility. The Virgin in blue and red with her hands clutched in pain at the foot of the cross. The Virgin is on her son's right, and the Italian word for right is Desta, so it's the most important position. The inferior position is Sinistra. After all, would you rather be dexterous or sinister? So we have the Virgin on her son's right, and on her son's left, the Bishop Augustine, Augustine, one of the four doctors of the church, of Berber origin, North African, born in the fourth century, died in the fifth century, and followers of St. Augustine will be the Augustinians. This is an Augustinian convent. And there's something very interesting at the entrance of the Augustinian convent, which we're now going to see. We're opposite the fresco now, and this is the entrance to the Augustinian convent. And right here is La Volta, the wheel. Now, at this point, we don't have an opening of the wheel. At one point, there was an opening of the wheel. In every medieval town and the big cities, there was one convent with a wheel. And who was left on the wheel for the sisters to raise? Abandoned children. This could be the illegitimate child of a noble woman. And very interestingly is if one had twins, one was given away. Because twins would have meant children by two men. So one of the twins would have been left up in the wall top. In one of my Zoom talks, and you may wish to see it, I did a talk on Naples and a famous church there where one can very clearly see La Walta. And after the talk, a woman from the western coast of the United States wrote me saying that her great grandfather had been in the records of that church and was one of the abandoned children put into the Walta. What was often the surname of the abandoned child? De Esposti, the exposed. Or Dio Tale, may God raise you. So here in Spello, I am quite sure that this was the world where children, unwanted children, could be left to be raised by the nuns. La Rota.